Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun show. Today, we are making a video. That's right, folks. We picked up this previously unmodified giant octopus uh, sculpture, miniature, I don't know what you want to call it. Not really sure what it's made, it's made out of. Plaster. I believe it's made of plaster. I don't think it's plaster because it, when you just rub it, nothing comes off. Well, maybe a little. Maybe yeah, but it feels more like maybe a resin or a really cheap plastic. But we There's got... no way this is plastic. Well, we got this about a, almost exactly a year ago, and it's been sitting on our mantle waiting for it to, you know, come down and be painted. We modified it by taking some milliput and putting a gem on its forehead and... My additional touch was adding these horns to change it up from what I'll uh, show you as our inspiration in just a moment. No, I consider this a craft because... Uh, it's really just painting. The little things we added to it, you know, you could just go and... If you can find this piece at Hobby Lobby, which is what I recommend you grab one because you won't regret it. At 10 bucks, it's definitely worth the price. But the little guy's going to start painting it, and we have some unusual colors... Starting with neon blue from Folk Art. What is this? Pure red from Army Painter, and then uniform gray also from Army Painter. We'll be using and some a other. Palette. We'll be using some other colors, but the color choices come from. Let, okay, let you start. Start with the eyes. Oh, that's why I poured you out some blue. From this book, and another book actually. I've had this copy of the Deities and Demigods book for almost exactly 40 years of my collection. I wouldn't trade it for any book uh, I can think of other than a better condition copy of this, but I would still keep this one because not only does it have my original uh, address and phone number in it from when I was 14, it's also got a lot of memories and uh, some ripped up and taped together pages. But the inspiration partially comes from... And it partially is full of no, because I actually read the books. Um, no. Payare, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Uh, Michael Moorcock was P Y A R A. Payare. Payare. Um, this, this creature was encountered by Elric of Melmanea, I believe, in the first book, Sailor on the Seas of Fate, which is one of my all time favorite books. Um, easy, easily in my top 10 uh, favorite books. Uh, but this creature is a chaos lord, uh, the whisperer of impossible secrets. And uh, I, I just, I, I saw this picture when I was a kid, and I just, I just loved it. I, I, I threw this particular beastie at anybody who dared venture in the high seas at least once in their career. Uh, probably a dozen times I've used this particular monster, if you will. Uh, you have an actual miniature for it? Now I actually have a miniature for it, and uh, you can guarantee the little guy will encounter this at some time in his gaming career, if I'm dungeon mastering. But I read the uh, the Elric books probably four or five times, complete all the way through, and they just get better every time. Uh, I, I've I've read a lot of Michael Moorcock stuff, and seeing as how he uh, teamed up with uh, the members of my favorite band, uh, I'm sure you can guess who that is been a fan of those guys since uh, I was about 12 years old and I had my first uh, Snoopy Snoopy AM FM radio I got from one of my one of my relatives for Christmas and I just I heard about the band I listened to them I have all their albums blah 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 but they teamed up with him and wrote a couple of a couple of songs including uh, Black Blade which is about everybody's favorite soul sucking Albi albino inbred? Uh, no, well, I, mean, I was talking about the sword, but yeah, he's a, an albino. Elric is definitely an inbred albino, um, but he was a great character. It was a great story. If you guys haven't read it and you do play D&D or some other fantasy role-playing game, I recommend you give it, a, give, it, give it a go, give it a try, because uh, so many things from Dungeons & Dragons are easily lifted from the, those pages. This... Uh, uh, this book in particular is invaluable, um, and, and yes, it is the copy that has Cthulhu, who, um, all the Elric story, story characters. Now you go on to the red. Yes. <clears throat> and he's 
he's painting these as per the description in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Blue eyes, red octopus. We're going to throw some other colors and shading in there. And by other colors, you mean a red wash, which is still red. Maybe and some gray. maybe some purple and lavender. Mm, over. No, I'm just going to keep it. Simple? Yeah, I actually kind of think it should be a darker gray than uniform gray. You want me to try a necromancer cloak or something else for you? Yeah. Okay, well, you guys get a well, gander at him. Remember to try to get those tentacles first so that you can come back and do a little bit of it. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So, uh, as he said, we got this almost exactly a year ago. This was, uh, we actually got this during our first month of the channel, I believe. I'm pretty sure we had started the channel, but I, it might have been before. It might have been when we were planning for our channel and our first video. Um, but it was during the first, it was at the very beginning of our channel that we got this. It's been sitting... Well, first it was in it was above our fireplace, then it was in my room for a while. Uh, but yeah, we've had this for a long time. And it's about time we get it off that pile of shame and onto a gaming table. I think. Well, it's not that it's on. It was a pile. It was in a shame thing. It was more that it we was just actually didn't you're right. It was in a place of honor with all our. Painted Archon Dragons and some of our other big minis. Yeah, then it went to what's basically the same thing, but it's in my room because we didn't have enough room there. Yeah. We do need to get some uh, some some better shelving units or something to, to display our finished products instead of just boxing them up like we have been with some of our crafts and what have you. And uh, some of our crafts aren't... I'm not going to say they're bad, but they're more... I mean... I'm okay with just boxing up. I think this is a good place to stop. Good place to draw the line. Okay. Not to stop the video, obviously, but stop the tentacle. Stop the red, or where the gray and the red goes. Might need a bit of touch-ups there. Later. Shaking the necromancer cloak because it it is really bad. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working on a lot of extra credits this month. I've actually started working on what's going to be for our next month. That's true. So I'm not gonna. I'm. I probably won't start till next month, but I, I may or may not start it and finish it this okay. month and just only show it next month. But it depends. Um, do you think this one's the cynical time? Yeah, but fix that edge right there. It's a little messy. Okay. No, Just one thing that I don't like about painting on camera is that you kind of need to show the camera some things, which I don't really like, because it makes it a bit harder to do sometimes. Like this, for example. Yeah, you but can just paint some, then flip, then show it to the camera, then go back to painting. Yeah, but if you noticed in our last painting video, um, even it was even in the thumbnail, which kind of represents the entire process. Was because we realized this camera can be flipped. The camera was flipped. Yeah. So I was trying to paint using the reflection, which didn't go well. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. It's a painting by mirror. Yeah. yeah. I don't recommend that to any folks out there. Yeah, I mean, I was really only doing it because like I thought that it might make... shooting a pistol with a, with a mirror. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it, it's, it can't end well. Have you done that? I uh, No, I have not. I, You've not tried. I, I, I won't try it. There's literally no point. I have two good eyes and uh, a pretty good aim. I'm, I'm not trying to show off, and I'm not trying to earn money at the circus, so uh, I'll just stick to what I know. Um... Why'd you skip a tentacle? I don't know. Okay, we'll finish that one up, and then maybe we can go on to using the the necromancer cloak, so we can if the first tentacle is dry. Yeah, but we've been, as I was saying before, something I don't remember. 
Um, we are doing a lot of extra credits. Yes, we are. Um, I'll, I'm not going to say what any of them are. Should we give any hints? No. Okay. No. Uh, just just uh, let it be known that I think each of us are working on at least two pretty, pretty special extra credit projects for this month. And both of them, no, well, both of mine, ignoring the one that's for next month. Look, you get that one in the middle. After you finish that one, go back to the Yeah, I know. Missed it. But, but I'm not it, even it, done with this one. Yeah. So I'll like we're going to start on a fourth one. In <laughs> no. I'm not going to start another one when I'm not even done with my th second one. Yeah. It's, that's really going to look pretty neat, I think, when we're done with it. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I think uh, Michael Moorcock, if he's still alive, would appreciate it. I don't think so. I don't it, think he is. I, 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 you know what? It's hard to say. Um... He he was he was up there in years when I was reading his books and you know I, I suppose I could I could Google him later and find out. Uh, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, it's. I think he was in his thirties or forties when he was writing those books, and that was quite a few years ago. Yeah, with if you do decide to buy this and paint it in whatever way, if you, you can find it. it. If you can find it, because we haven't seen it at Hobby Lobby in a while. Yeah. It, it's weird, because a lot of the things that we find like this and in the uh, sailing ship that we bought, it was like they got one and we got it. No, oh, there was two. Oh, there this was, one. Uh, there was two of this? Okay. And one was broken. Oh, that's right. That's what we... Speaking of, careful with my horns there, buddy. I spent all afternoon shaping and sanding and filing those into perfection. Yeah, not really. It took me about... 12 minutes and yeah. then I let them out in the sun to dry brought them back sanded them down a little bit but you, you can skip the horns if you want because I, I know there's no horns in the picture but I just really wanted to add my own little yeah we were originally going to paint this purple and green or some other weird colors but yeah, I think I'm about. getting tired of those two colors yeah we've been we've been kind of abusing the uh, the Mars attack color scheme quite a bit lately <laughs> And yeah, it's like... I'm actually guilty of doing that this month, uh, as the little guy pointed out, with the Sisters, Sisters of the, the Cracking Cult. Cult. Yeah, Jane Chiomi and Coke. Mm. Um, I, I definitely... Uh, it, 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 it's so easy to get, you know, to fall into those easy stereotypes and... Mm. and it's just like the... Should I say the monster's name? Which one? The one that we don't... That we kind of like the design, but... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. Okay. Well, there's a spawn monster that they made a new design of, and the design is basic. I like it, but it's the basic stereotypical alien-looking monster. Yeah, it doesn't. Which you, it's gone to being so because it used to be like a really weird-looking design, like big. Like alien himself from the alien movies, and now. So but many. now it's been that type of design, that style has been used so much, it's gone from looking very weird to just... Commonplace. Yeah. Uh, games Same Workshop's with guilty with their, their Tyranids and Gene Stealers. And, Even uh, though they were one of the first. Yes, but... You know, and they, I usually they've been, don't... They've, they've been doing it for so long. Yeah, that, but I don't think they need to change... Like, if you're one of the first people to do something, and then that thing becomes so overused... I don't think one of the first people to do it should need to change it. Yeah, they shouldn't be penalized. They just because pe they were first. Yeah. Like they were, they were probably one of the first. I don't know what the actual first was, but it's just stereotypical alien monster. Yeah. And that's what it looks like, which I like. I like the design, but the other one was so weird. And different. Yeah. I feel like the key to making something looking weird or different now is to make it look weird and different. Yeah. Mostly different. Which is kind of hard nowadays, yeah, but... Yeah, because, you know, when I was growing up, it was a lot easier for artists to do things like that because it hadn't been done yet. You know, not, you know, saying I'm that old, but, you know, science fiction was, mm -hmm. was you know, not yeah. mainstream like it is now when you, you know... When you go to the movies, you know, there's a superhero movie in, in every theater playing. And, you know, not necessarily like a more sci-fi movie, but, you know, it, it, it's just, there, there's so much of it out there now compared to, you know, just 20 years ago where, 
you know, movie theaters or, or movie, you know, uh, producers just, they, they didn't want to touch it. You know, it's like, yeah, this is, it's not going to be a Star Wars, so we're not going to do it. And now just about, you know, er everybody is, you know, trying to come up with the next new, you know, sci-fi blockbuster that, you know, they're like, oh, they're telling them. The producers, you know, give me a script, you know, find something sci-fi. How about you finish up the little front right here and then go on to the necromancer? And I'll do a bit more. I'll do the face. Okay, I'll get you some gray. On it almost seems like this thing sucks up a lot of paint. It, it does because it's got a lot of, you know, uh, peaks and valleys in the texture. And that's going to also absorb a ton of the washes. When I was working on the... The Sisters of the Kraken called last night. I noticed just how easily you can just go through almost an entire bottle of Army Painter wash without even trying. So we're going to need to probably make another paint order of nothing but washes before the end of summer as we head into fall. Don't get too close to the eyes because you should probably use a smaller brush when you get closer, but if you can do it, go for it. You know, that really, those are uh, really looking good, actually. A straight brush? No. A smaller brush? Yeah, I'm just going to get it. Is this, would this brush work? Um, it should. Are you done with that one for now? Pumping. Well, actually, you have to wash it. It's washed. <laughs> That's not how that works. No, it's not, and I hate doing that, but, you know, we've all done it. One of these days, we're going to make a video just on proper care and cleaning of paintbrushes. As soon as I find a, a really good tried-and-true method to, to really get your paintbrushes really, you know, back to almost, you know, brand new, which is... Is that good enough? Looking. It, it, yeah, but get under his eye. No, no, not there. It's sort of in the front. Oh, See okay. there? I wouldn't consider that. up on the eyebrow, if you want. I would not consider that underneath. I would consider that in front. That really looks weird. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a blue, red, and blue colors, which are... And I wouldn't say that's the colors. I would say it's red, the tiny bit of blue for contrast. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I feel... Also, this brings me back to the whole yellow and green thing. Yellow and green are the opposite... Not yellow. Uh, purple and green are the opposite colors. Which is probably why we specifically use them so much. Because they're both alien colors. Which you wear because green is the most common color. Yeah. But... Um... Um, because we specifically, and other people probably too as, do as well, but I haven't seen that many of them, use those colors so often, they don't really, obviously they don't look like, they don't blend together at all, but the, it's like how red and blue are very common colors, but, uh, red and, not red and orange, blue and orange are less common colors. You mean in conjunction with one another? Yeah. Here. But it's like the uh, it's the opposite of that because of, uh, maybe do a little bit more down to finish off that side. Yeah, and then we're done. And then you go on to the necro. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Think that works? Yeah, so that way they can get uh, you know a really good idea of what we're actually shooting for. Okay, what brush should I use? This um, there's no, there's two. I, I pulled you out some good brushes. Here. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 the brown one. Yeah, but it has some... Oh, messed up fur? Yeah. Buzz? Which is always really bad. Find another one. Something you're comfortable with. That doesn't work. <laughs> um, no. I think this one might work. Yeah. Okay. This is Necromancer? Yeah. Yeah, I think Necromancer was the one I used on that one red guy. You like it? Yeah, it's the color I'm looking for. We definitely have to put something on there 
dry black wash. Box. No, because the black wash won't do anything. We need to do something to show the uh, suction cups. Oh, yeah, we could just dry brush it. We could just give it a black wash and then dry brush it, like white or something. Or try just dry brush it like maybe ash gray. Or uniform gray. Some other type of gray. Yeah. I don't think a black wash will even make any noticeable difference. I think we should try. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think, think so. maybe a purple wash would actually have an effect. Yeah, I don't want it to be purple. Do you remember how we did that? I did that one really weird alien bug thing? Yeah. And it just made it shiny. Yeah, that's because you glossed it. Well, yeah, but you could still see the purple at certain angles, but not at others. Yeah, but that was pure black. Yeah. This is not pure black. So I think that slight difference in the tint or shade or whatever it's called. I don't. It's been a while since I've actually done anything related to that color theory or whatever. Yeah, maybe, it's called. maybe don't finish the tentacles and the underside where the camera won't see, just so we can you know do the parting shot where you can actually see more of what it looks like. You know what I mean. Just the raised areas. Don't do the under part of the tentacle. We can do that later. Yeah, we're still going to do some touch-ups after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be working on this in our spare time for the rest of the month. Yeah, but, I mean, most most people know how washes and stuff work. We just kind of wanted to show this, but in a similar way to how we showed the spaceships. Yeah. Just it's something just, that if you see it, you can grab it and use it as this. Yeah. Or any other squid, because we weren't originally using it for this. Right, right. Which is going to be a generic giant octopus. Should I do all three? Uh, yeah, but you missed a spot right at the very tip, the very edge. If you look, you can see there's a little bit of white showing through. Where? Here. Just set it still and I'll point. Right in, in that area. That. And a little bit on the top, on the other side. Okay, that's, that looks fine. I think what you were saying was shine. It could be. Yeah, it was. Okay. Then move on to the next one, whichever one you're comfortable with. I don't know why I did it. I keep doing this in a weird order. You like to jump around, I noticed. Yeah. But we are... I mean, we're probably going to do a lot more this month. Absolutely, we have. And I'm going to It's only be. the first week of the month, and we have another nine or ten videos to do this month, so. Yeah. Do you think I should do all three? Or Actually, it depends. How far in are we? Or do you have any idea? Do you have any idea what? We're about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah that, that's the main part I don't like about this is how... It sucks up the paint like a sponge. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, there. There's two close the last one. Try to look at it from all the different angles so you can see areas you missed. That might have been a bad decision. You're like, right there, right there, I was like, how'd you miss that? I didn't. Yeah. But I did do it. Yeah, I, I hadn't done it at that time, but I just did. Be very careful with those horns when you stick it and hang them upside down like that. Oh, well, you're going to fall off? No, I, I just want you to break the tips off. Because oh. they're very fragile. Even though it's, you know, milliput. It, it, it can be, you know, a strong material. It, it's, it can also be brittle and... Which one was that? Was it working on this one? It's not for some reason. Yeah. It's weird. How you just, skip around? Yeah. No, how I switched to work on one I had already finished, but I just went lower. Yeah. No. 
maybe from that angle it looked like you could see some of the white underneath and we just want to get kind of a good close up of of his face and those yeah. gray tentacles sticking up. Again, touch ups we will we will be doing touch ups and we will be doing yeah, we'll, we'll probably put easily, you know, 15 hours into this, this piece when we're, by the time we're done. Yeah. And we'll probably both take turns at it. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to put this in any of our Kraken painting videos. We might, but I don't well, think Probably so. not, because I, I still have a lot of work to catch up to what you've done with the tentacles and the boat. And was there anything else that came with it? Just No, it was the treasure chest. I was thinking of the... The Sky Coach that has all those extra fancy little pieces that, you know, uh, the, the, the Kraken didn't come with. I mean, the Kraken didn't come with a lot of pieces. It's a really, it's a really good bargain for its price, and it does have a lot of useful little pieces. Although the treasure chest, I mean, I, I probably have twenty-five to fifty different kinds of treasure chests or chests or crates or, you know, boxes, you know, for gaming. I didn't need another one. Yeah, but not everyone is like that. Some people... I would have preferred to have some sort of harpoon gun or just a giant harpoon instead of another box. I've been thinking Hey, about boxes that. are pretty cool. I was thinking of actually making some sort of harpoon gun or or ballista for the uh, sailing ship and maybe even the falling star because they're, you know, just begging for some sort of way to go fishing. I think that looks good, right? Yeah, it does. You ready to call it a night? Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. Let's put it on a napkin. What color are going to be blue, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I, I really pick them up, put them on there so the camera can get kind of a nice close-up of mostly his red areas and not oh. the white that's sticking out on the sides. Yeah, but this video's been going on long enough. Yeah. Especially because yeah, it's a school night. Well, for some people. Not for us. We'll, we'll probably be up till midnight. We'll probably be up till... Don't even. Don't even. If you're <laughs> up past midnight, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing my job right. <laughs> Right, folks? Right, moms and dads out there? <laughs> Little ones, you have oh, no need God. to be up after midnight on, on, on Tuesday. Yeah. But there you have it, folks. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed our, our, our hijinks tonight. Hope you guys can find yourself one of these octopus, octopi. And, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Yeah, totally. And uh, we will see you guys Thursday for our Bonafide Craft video. We hope you'll enjoy. Until then, have a great week. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, what he just said, and... Uh, uh, buenas noches. Bye, everybody. Yeah, also... <laughs>